and very helpful. And as a result, we have been able to achieve this program. Over the next nine months, it is now what we call a standby agreement, and uh, it has uh, $3 billion. And the first tranche has been received uh, in that uh, we are now very strictly following this program, and I can assure you, without any fear of contradiction, that there will be no uh, deviation from this program. We will uh, complete our term next month, and then there will be interim government through a consultative process between the Prime Minister of Pakistan and the leader of the opposition. And of course, uh, this point uh, will be reached after I have consulted my colleagues, uh, my coalition partners in this behalf. And I can assure you that during that interim period, there will be no deviation, there will be no going back, out of question. For that, we are putting in uh, a robust uh, framework uh, which will uh, ensure that uh, there is no deviation. But then, I want to share with this, with this with you, with sitting like a family, uh, I have nothing to hide from you because all of you have been very supportive, that we want to move in the direction of self, you know, support and give up the habit of uh, boring loans. Of course, it will not happen overnight. If you are uh, addicted to something, you have to go to a uh, rehabilitation center. So, we have uh, carved out our rehab center. We have made a plan. We have chartered a course of uh, economic revival. Of course, everything will be done uh, in, with your support because we consider you as, our, as friends of Pakistan. But that support would be directed towards more expertise, technical know-how, to enhance our production in the field of agriculture, more productivity, enhancing per acre yield of cotton, wheat, sugarcane, maize and other items, and then seeking foreign investments. Easier said than done. We are doing our homework. We have done uh, in the last uh, month or so done uh, groundwork very well and this mechanism is in place which is uh, known by SIFC and this uh, has the following important areas of uh, action. Number one, green revolution and Pakistan as you know my friends uh, is an agrarian economy and uh, we are perfectly geographically placed and ideally placed to grow uh, agri-products, convert them into value-added products and export them. For that, obviously, we need to have uh, all elements in place and that requires investment, expenditure. And this investment we are seeking from Gulf states, from our uh, friends in the, uh, in the East, Europe, United States of America, North America, everywhere. Pakistanis residing abroad want to come back and invest in Pakistan. But that requires a stable, strong, vibrant political atmosphere. And we are moving in that direction. Because once we complete our term, there will be an interim government and then hopefully election commission of Pakistan will arrange free and fair elections. So what I'm saying is that uh, we are moving towards elections and hopefully fully mandated uh, government will be in place to serve uh, the cause of the people of Pakistan, alleviate poverty, unemployment and attract investments work untiringly. In agriculture, as you know, we have a huge youth bulge, you know, empower them with knowledge, you know, vocational training, skills, everything, so that they become productive hands. And then, of course, uh, mines and minerals. 
is our third priority. Very important. We have uh, uh, trillions of dollars of worth uh, assets uh, buried here in this country in uh, the four nook and corners of Pakistan. So that requires a unwavering commitment, which I can assure you uh, the next government will have. Whosoever the people of Pakistan vote for, we will respect that mandate. If it's given to party A, good luck, and we will support them. If it is given to us, uh, we will be very happy and ready to uh, immediately uh, put into action our economic program for the well-being of this country and would like to have very strong connectivity with our uh, brotherly and friendly countries. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm saying is that uh, we seek your support. We want to move away from borrowings and uh, from uh, having loans. We want to have complete transformation and we want to have investments, profitable investment for investors, conducive environment. I know that this is, uh, we're not a country which is a very, which attracts uh, foreign investments and tourists in a big way. But we will do everything within our domain to be one of them. It will take time. Rome was not built overnight. But I have no doubts in my mind that my colleagues, our people will all, you know, unite together and make this happen. And this will happen. And this must happen. In this regard, whatever has been uh, uh, presented to you is a picture which has uh, many blanks to be filled in. Uh, but I think gradually when you see progress uh, in this behalf, and I have said this to uh, our Secretary Planning, that uh, transparency for this government is of paramount importance. And there's no compromise on that, absolutely. And this should be the yardstick, not only for us, for all of you. You will measure Pakistan's progress Pakistan's efforts uh, from these uh, lenses. I want to assure you that every penny which you have donated to Pakistan in cash or in kind, under my watch, I can assure you, along with my colleagues, these have been invested most profitably and in a very transparent manner. And this uh, shall continue, inshallah, not only in this program, but in all of the programs Pakistan uh, will undertake in time to come. With these uh, remarks, I'd like to thank you all once again for your very valuable support and your presence here. God bless you. And uh, our friendship with all of you will blossom, and we are uh, very proud of it. Thank you.